These three simple practices will help you determine whether your feed bunk is producing milk or losses. In the field, it's common to see technically well-formulated diets that fail to deliver the expected results, and often the problem isn't the nutrition itself but the feed bunk. Poor bunk management leads to dry matter losses and directly reduces milk production. According to NASEM 2021, dry matter intake is the main determinant of milk yield. Any issue affecting access, feeding frequency, or cow behavior at the feed bunk compromises diet efficiency and milk conversion. The first practice is to evaluate the feedback score. Ideally, aim for 3% to 5% refusals, enough to ensure all cows have access to feed, but not so much that it indicates waste or heating of the silage. The second is to monitor feed access time. Cows need fresh feed available for at least 20 hours per day, with regular push-ups, every 2 to 3 hours at minimum. This helps stabilize intake and minimizes fluctuations in ruminal pH, enhancing digestibility. The third is to visually assess the consistency and homogeneity of the TMR. A poorly mixed ration, or one with particle sorting, alters intake patterns, reduces nutrient use efficiency, and leads to declines in milk yield and milk fat content. The feed bunk is not a detail, it's a diagnostic tool. It's where your investment in nutrition either becomes results or losses. Want to go deeper? Click the link in our bio and explore our complete training on dairy feeding and management with Dr. Mike Hutchins.